uh, the institutional entry terminology is represented by concepts and descriptions. We use uh, SNOMED CT uh, definition of concepts and descriptions where concepts represent different uh, clinical meaning and descriptions are phrases used to name a concept. We also uh, divided this uh, and institutional entry terminology in several subsets like uh, problem list terminology, procedures terminology, findings in chest radiography, physical examinations, and um, many others. Subsets are used as the entry terminology uh, in a specific scenario. Uh, the process of adding concepts to the entry terminology and organizing them in subsets is manually done uh, by trained coders and it's only done once. Uh, it doesn't matter in how many co uh, subsets uh, the concept is used. This is a screen capture of uh, our electronic health record. This is the patient electronic health record. Here you can see um, the problem list uh, screen. Uh, physician and nurses can add problems to uh, the electronic health record from this screen. And um, here's one of the functions of the entry terminology is the concept lookup look function. Uh, when adding a problem, the terminology server might suggest the user a preferred term for a user input. In this slide, uh, the user has entered ATMA alone, and uh, the terminology server says that the, there is a preferred term or a preferred label for that uh, term, uh, okay, so it's bronchial asthma. And also uh, show some refining options if uh, the user wants to be more detailed. Uh, these uh, refining options are dynamically built up. Another function of the entry terminology is the short peak list definitions. Uh, the terminology server provides a uh, short picklist definitions uh, for most structured data entry and specific use templates with a short list of valid entries. For example, if the, in the outpatient electronic health record, uh, can ask the terminology for uh, a list of probable diagnosis in chest radiography findings and the terminology server can uh, build up this short picklist definition and the physician can select one of these. Another function of the entry terminology is the, um, the terminology server should provide the navigation tree interfaces for structured data and entry in more complex templates like uh, liver uh, failure templates. Uh, so the, in the outpatient or the inpatient electronic health record uh, can ask for a possible diagnosis of in causes of liver failure and the terminology server uh, brings a, uh, a navigation tree where the physician can select one of these terms. Uh, these, um, these trees can be manually uh, built up or, or can be dynamically built up. Another function is uh, the ability to accept new terms from uh, the user and to detect inappropriate terms for being too general and not valid in a subset. In this example, uh, the user has entered diabetes alone as a problem, as an active problem to, uh, to add it to the problem list and the um, terminology servers uh, mandatory uh, ask uh, re requires uh, a refinement. So uh, the user has to select, for example, if it's a type 1 diabetes or a type 2 diabetes. Um, this function was really useful in our systems because we had, uh, in, in, in our history, we, we let, we let uh, physicians to enter in free text uh, problems and some of them were not problems or were uh, problems too general that we cannot use. So uh, this function was actually uh, one of the biggest uh, things that we have uh, found, found with this uh, terminology server. Uh, as a reference terminology functions, uh, so all the entry terminology should be represented in the reference terminology. 
we are using Xiaomi CT language version um, and um, the interface vocabulary for Brown list subset, for example, there are, are uh, 24 um, thousand concepts and 110 uh, description, thousand descriptions approximately. <coughs> and as it means the reference terminology, the new SNOMED CT concepts should be created by institutional terms not represented with a standard SNOMED CT code. Uh, we are using uh, SNOMED description logics to build up these uh, new concepts that uh, are not represented in SNOMED. Um, we, we have uh, physicians can can add problems uh, and and there there's a code uh, coding group that using SNOMED description logics uh, tries to, to to, to build up a, a code for, for that term. Uh, as the aggregate terminology functions, we are using the official SNOMED cross map model. Uh, these provide output to several standard classifications like ICD-9, ICD-10, ICPC, um, ATC, and local building nomenclature. This, is, uh, this facilitates epidemiologic and analysis and also allow us to group patients based on a classification criteria. For example, uh, we can uh, group patients, uh, all patients with depression, in accordance to DSM-4, that this is the disease, uh, the mental disease classification, or all patients with diabetes in accordance to ICD-9. This is very useful uh, for research purposes, for example. So this is the software administration. Uh, this is the aggregate terminology administration system. Here we can see that uh, one DSM-4 concept has many uh, SNOMED CT codes um, that are much. This other capture is uh, also for the terminology maintenance software where we can see um, a dynamically uh, subset build it, it's the allergy to drugs so uh, all um, we are using this uh, this subset for uh, clinical decision support systems and uh, it's actually quite useful all the, the hierarchies or the concepts um, that are related to uh, the, the SNOMED concept uh, to allergy to drugs or the, the relatives are built out dynamically built in this list and are uh, useful uh, in our systems. So as conclusion, SNOMED CT provides an excellent structure for the organization of our terminology system. The task of creating an institutional energy terminology demands uh, such a lot of work but provides an excellent service to the user and isolates the terminology system from snow city changes in newer versions. Um, some if local concept local concept will always be better. In words uh, some modeling against snow city would be required. So uh, the most important achievement of our terminology server are the centralization of knowledge representation and the uniformity uh, in all clinical data entered at any place of the institution and any level of care. Well, thank you very much for your attention.